What you're about to see shouldn't even be possible. Windows 11 running on a machine that fails every requirement. No TPM, no secure boot, not even SSE 4.2. And yet, it works. This is Tiny 11, Prime Edition. Hi, this is Neil from Apitus, and today I'm going to show you something special. To get your hands on Tiny 11, Prime Edition, you'll need to use the Tiny 11 Creator made by HT and Apitus. I've dropped the link in the pinned comments. Once you're inside the Creator, all you have to do is hit Build, and it'll take care of everything for you. If your internet's a bit slow, no worries. Grab a coffee, let it run, and by the time you're back, your brand new Windows 11 build will be ready. When your finish is building, you'll see the message Build Finished Successfully in the logs. And that's your cue to choose how you want to install it. The first method needs no USB drive at all. You don't have to wipe your PC or lose your data just to try Tiny11. Inside the download package, you'll find a small tool called Xeno, and it makes installation ridiculously simple. Xeno lets you install Tiny11 directly on any drive you choose, without touching your main Windows installation. It automatically sets up a dual boot, so you can switch between your regular Windows and Tiny11 anytime you want. Just make sure to pick a drive that doesn't contain anything important, then format it as NTFS. Tiny11 itself takes only around 5 gigabytes, but if you're planning to install daily apps or games, I'd recommend giving it at least 20 gigabytes of space. And yes, even your old hard drives work perfectly fine. Once you open Xeno, select the Tiny11 setup package, hit Start Installation, and choose your formatted drive. That's it. The setup will start automatically and usually wraps up in just a few minutes. After it's done, restart your PC and you'll see a new dual boot menu with Tiny11 ready to launch. And if the boot menu doesn't appear for some reason, don't stress. You can easily fix it using a free tool like EasyBCD or VisualBCD to manually add Tiny11 to your boot list. Now, if you'd rather go with the traditional USB method, that's totally fine too. For this, you'll be using a tool called Rufus, the classic and reliable way to create a Windows installer. All you need is an empty USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of space. When Rufus starts, it'll ask whether to use UEFI or Legacy Boot. If you're not sure which one your PC supports, just stick with the default option. Worst case, your PC won't boot from it. No big deal. Just switch the mode and try again. If you want to be sure, you can always look up your laptop or motherboard model online to check whether it supports UEFI. Before you start, keep in mind, Rufus will completely erase everything on your USB drive, so make sure to back up any files you need. Once it's done, your bootable USB will be ready to go. From here, you can install Tiny11 just like any normal version of Windows, except this one is lighter, faster, and built purely for performance. The installation process is super simple. Select the drive where you want Tiny11 installed and double check you're not formatting the wrong one. If you prefer using Windows in another language, don't worry. You can easily add language packs after setup. And if you want to install Tiny11 without losing data, check out Velotic, your PC, fully unlocked. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Once the installation finishes, no matter which method you used, Tiny11 will boot you straight to the desktop. But don't click away just yet. This next step is crucial. The very first thing you should do is open the Configure app and enable Compression Mode. This feature compresses your drive 
and can cut disk usage almost in half with virtually zero performance loss. It's optional, but if you want the best results, I highly recommend turning it on. Depending on how fast your drive is, it'll take anywhere from 20 minutes to about an hour. So grab a coffee, relax, and let Tiny11 do its magic in the background. Once it's done, check your disk usage. You'll see Tiny11 sitting at just around 5 gigabytes. That's a complete Windows 11 environment, with everything working, updates, apps, and features. Sure, there might be smaller builds out there, but none that are like this stable, optimized, and universally compatible. Tiny11 is tuned to perfection, any lighter, and you'd actually start losing performance, not gaining it. Now that installation is complete, let's get you connected. Open the toolbox and pick your browser, Chrome, Opera, Edge, or Firefox, all ready to install with just one click. No more being forced to use Edge. Finally, you get to choose what works best for you. Once your browser is up, take a second to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Inside the Configure app, I've also included direct links to my channel, so returning for future guides, updates, and new releases is super easy. If you ever need real support or just want to hang out with other Tiny11 users, join my Discord server. It's the best place for help, setup tips, and even sneak peeks at upcoming builds before anyone else. A quick reminder, please avoid posting support questions in the YouTube comments. Without screenshots, troubleshooting is nearly impossible, and many comments get auto-flagged as spam. For reliable help, always head over to Discord, where everything gets solved properly. Lastly, if you notice apps or games throwing out of memory errors or crashing randomly, make sure to enable paging files and install the proper drivers. It'll solve most of those issues. Now let's talk about drivers. Do you really need them? If you're a gamer chasing every extra frame, then absolutely. If you're using dual monitors, an external display, or a touch screen, yes, you need them. Even things like special function keys, trackpads, or extra buttons rely on proper drivers to work correctly. In short, drivers are what keep your hardware running smoothly and unlock your PC's full potential. Here's the best part. With Tiny11, getting all the drivers you need is effortless. On a standard Windows setup, you'd spend hours digging through websites, downloading the right files, and installing each driver one by one. Painful, right? With Tiny11, it's all built in. Just open the Configure app, click Install Drivers, and Tiny11 will automatically scan your system, detect what's missing, and walk you through every step. No guesswork, no hunting for files, no frustration. Within minutes, your PC is fully optimized, ready for work, gaming, or anything in between. Tiny11 doesn't just save you time, it keeps your PC performing at its absolute best without all the usual headaches. You'll find a purchase link for Tiny11 in the pinned comment. Here's the deal. With just one $20 purchase, you get full access to all Tiny11 builds for an entire year. Offer expires next week. Why pay? Because free or cheap builds online carry a huge risk of malware, hidden bloat, and broken features. With Tiny11, you get rock-solid security, priority support, and the peace of mind that comes with using a trusted, optimized build all for less than the cost of a single dinner. It's literally a no-brainer if you care about your PC running fast, safe, and reliably. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is Apatus, signing off.